I mean, I know that you um, you mentioned that you, you know, I know you traded within a kind of a, a group of, of traders. How does that work for you? And do you think yeah, obviously you must find benefit from it? But how do you think it benefits you when you've got this team? How does it work? Give us an idea of how it kind of works and stuff. So it kind of came about um, about twelve to eighteen months ago. Um, I follow actively uh, Mike Belfiore. Uh, from S&B Capital, so mm. shout out to them. Yeah, they, uh, doing good things, man, yeah. Yeah, they put out a lot of uh, good content out there. Um, and they were saying, in 2017, their biggest uh, win, their biggest kind of like uh, MVP, they called it, of 2017 was team trading. And what they had was, um, you know, developing that kind of group of traders who have that kind of like-minded mindset, or kind of similar trading style, similar kind of practices. And if they were to group together and work as a unit in terms of you know, forming ideas or reviewing ideas and you know, um, assessing each other, um, that environment really helped them grow as individuals, as a team, and of course, as a company, um, <laughs> their, yeah. their prop shop. So I, I saw that in 2017, and that's when I started trading more actively, and I wasn't doing that great in around 2017 um, and actually that's probably when I first met you I think in 2017 was a couple of years two years ago yeah, yeah. Um, and that's maybe part of the reason where I was trying to network more and um, do you recognise the value of that because it can be a lonely lonely sport can't it <laughs> exactly yeah exactly in the retail space of all us uh, degenerate gamblers um, you know us just who do we interact with most of the trainers your keyboard and your mouse and your screen, right? Um, mm -hmm. We don't often get that real connection and you might learn from like YouTube or whatever resources you have, but how often in trading do you learn from other people or in person and, you know, that kind of social kind of learning. Um, so I saw those lessons that they posted from SMB in 2017 to to, um, to say how much of an effect team trading was. So that kind of seed into my head of how can I interact with the traders and learn from them. So I started you know, going to our local meet up with uh, you and Peter and uh, that started kind of kick start the process of you know, networking and learning mm -hmm. from you know, either your peers, people above you, you know, kind of beginners below you who, who push you on. And through university, I met uh, a course mate who he was quite keen on getting involved into trading and okay. that was through the whole Bitcoin 20k phase so he put some money on Bitcoin and um, he he I think overall he, he he burnt a little bit but that's what same thing got him interested and you know as traders you'll probably get interesting that crypto was the one that that got him yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, but for him that's what kind of his first lesson was 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 crypto. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the jungle. Is yeah, that, yeah, exactly. Yeah. He got like really in the hard end. Yeah, you know what I mean, um, but as traders, I think we always get approached by a lot of people who who also have a fascination in you know the money of it, and they're like, yeah. oh yeah, you have any tips? Blah blah blah. blah. And I, I got approached by quite a lot by my university peers, but he stood out to me in that he would always ask the right questions. Yeah, you have, yeah, you can sell them a mile off, can't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's the dad going to do tomorrow? Or, oh, how do I, am I better at structuring a setup or all this? Yeah, 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 yeah. He would be asking the right questions. Yeah. You know, I'd, I'd give him a few pieces of advice. He'd follow up on that. He'd he'd ask for more. You know, he'd go, I might just throw out a book recommendation. And then all of a sudden he's like, oh, I bought it. I'm reading yeah. it. And then he'd ask questions already on it. And you can really, you know, yeah. sift out, you know, the real traders with the right mindset from, you know, the crap who just want to make some money. Yeah, let me interrupt you and tell you about the story. Okay, so uh, I've been trading and there's a guy, he knew I'd been trading. He was like, oh, you've been trading? And I remember chatting, he was looking at my screens and stuff. And he said, oh, you know, you know, what you, what can you, how do I get into it and stuff? And I said, oh, well, tell you what, here's, you know, three books. I'll, I'll actually, I've got them in my shelf. I'll, I'll let you read them. It's a good starting point. And he goes, no, I don't want to read. And I was like, ah, all right. One of those ones, one of those guys, huh? So, well, you know what? You may as well just deposit your money straight into my account because it's going to go straight into the broker account or the spread bank company's account. So, yeah, anyway, interrupted you. I think there's a lot of those out there. There's a distinct difference between somebody who wants to put the effort in and make it work and someone who just wants to get rich quick, which yeah, yeah. is you should treat, like, treat it like a casino and it will yeah. give you casino rewards. You lose all your money every time. 
Or you get lucky on one go, and if you pull out, you're fine. Yeah. yeah. There, there's those, you know, like you said, quite easy to sit, sift out. Those who come into trading, seeing the money, you know, those Instagram kind of posts. YouTube kind of things with the cars or whatever, and they only advertise kind of money and a quick buck. And then you separate those traders from who really see it as a career and have that mindset of okay, trading is a skill based game, you know, mm. you can train to be you know, a doctor, a lawyer, a fireman, a plumber, or whatever. And that takes you know a few years to develop, and you need to hone those certain amount of skills. And even as a trader yourself, you know people get into it the wrong impression that you, know, you need a certain you know a range of skills to actually take in with it's you know risk management planning trades discipline you know your process like as a person how you can operate at your best I like an athlete on those whole range of particular skills that you need to develop over time mm. which is is like a career um, so that's what I saw in um, the trade that I'm I have you know, at university that I kind of took him on is that, you know, he had that kind of right, right mm. mindset. He was asking the right questions. Um, he wanted to, to learn, not just to make money, he wanted to learn and improve. And he saw the kind of long-term horizons with the right expectation. Yeah. You'd kind of tell him, you know, you, you shouldn't trade with real money. You know, you should test stuff. You should read books. You should yep. absorb this. And, you know, when they're super keen on that and they're not asking questions like, how do I make more bank, bro? Um, and, you know, what's our next hot stock tip or X, Y, Z is, you know, these are the type of people that you see yourself could benefit you and push you on as a trader. Mm. Um, so I started working with him and um, immediately it helped me, even though, you know, I'm you could say teaching him or assisting him, but that implemented more structure into my regime. Mm. Uh, discipline was a huge thing, having that team environment and you know accountability. Um, That's accountability, a big one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. The, probably the biggest thing is that you know you express a, either a trade idea or mm. you set certain trading goals, or whatever. I'm not going to do this. I'm going to do this. This is where I'm going to do it. Tell everybody. Yeah. And then what happens if you don't do it? Exactly. Exactly. They people, pound you. Yeah. yeah. People call you out for it and say, yeah. "Oi, mate." Or what you said, you know, this week or yeah. last week, and uh, you're not following through with that. Uh, or obviously, at times when you're doing good, and maybe they're saying, um, "Push you on, say, yeah. hey, this is time to press or whatever." I've had that. Um, nice. Yeah. So I started working with him uh, through, you know, kind of the end of university, uh, and then the last six months through our local meetup, I met one more trader who uh, trades options, but um, we both watch the U.S. markets and. Um, we still can express a lot of similar ideas, and he still trades also based off momentum. Um, he was also another great addition to what we have going on, in that we have you know that core cool group of a few traders now, which um, very kind of similar mindset in terms of you know, growing as a trader, treating yeah. trading as a long-term career, and uh, he's actually quite a bit older than me. Sorry, Chris. Um, but uh, he... Stick your age in the comments. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know, yeah, I know he's watching. <laughs> um, but that also helps give bounce to me as a person because obviously I'm a bit younger and with that comes maybe like maybe being more enthusiastic or aggress aggressive maybe, more... Uh, <laughs> Just rash, blindly yeah. punting on stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously I'm at a stage of no, my yeah. training career yeah, where you I'm recognize not, it's not quite... Yeah. But maybe I still might have those kind of tendencies. Yeah. Just that's that's it's uh, just human nature, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. And he kind of gives me a bit more balance in terms of like bigger picture. Like kind of he, you know, with his age and stuff. Like he's seeing as a career shift, um, and he's really seeing as you know, well, I could be still doing this for you know ten years until I properly you know make it into my full time career. But he get, helps you know give me that perspective. Mm. And him as a person, he's. Uh, more regimented, more routine based, um, and really helps give our team a lot more discipline. Um, Good, yeah. 